In a world where gender identity controversy is rampant, a new storm brews, featuring none other than the illustrious J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter series. The eye of this storm centers on Rowling's recent criticism of Sky News for referring to a transgender murderer, Scarlett Blake, as a woman. In a society where the lines between genders continue to blur, Rowling takes a stand, advocating for accurate journalism and pointing out the potential for misrepresentation in crime statistics. She argues that it's vital to distinguish between the identities of those committing crimes. Blake, a man identifying as a woman, was sentenced to life in prison for murder. Yet his crime has been chalked up as one committed by a woman. Rowling's stance on women's rights once again finds itself at the heart of public debate. But this isn't just about one news report. It's about the far-reaching implications of such misrepresentations. When we misrepresent gender in crime reporting, we risk skewing statistics, painting false narratives, and potentially endangering the very individuals we seek to protect. J.K. Rowling, known for her razor-sharp wit and eloquent prose, has brought this issue into the limelight, questioning the safety of this practice. Consider this. If we start classifying male criminals as females because they identify as such, what does it mean for the crime rates attributed to women? Suddenly we're seeing an artificial rise in female perpetrated crimes, a narrative that's both misleading and potentially harmful. Rowling isn't just advocating for accurate journalism here, she's addressing a bigger concern. In a world that seems increasingly comfortable with denying biological realities, she warns us of the dangers of blurring lines. We're not just talking about journalistic integrity or crime statistics, we're talking about societal norms, perceptions, and the very foundations of our understanding of gender. As Rowling points out, when we blur lines, we risk obscuring truths. And in a world that seems increasingly comfortable with denying biological realities, the implications are indeed far-reaching. While we grapple with these heavy issues, let's not forget the magic that J.K. Rowling has brought into our lives. Through Harry Potter, she painted a world that's as enchanting as it is enduring. Characters like the brave Hermione, loyal Ron, and the wise Dumbledore have become our cherished companions. And who can forget our protagonist Harry? If only he could use his wand to simplify this gender conundrum, uttering gender as switcheroo and voila. But alas, the muggle world isn't as straightforward. In the magical world of Harry Potter, changing genders might just be a flick of the wand away. But in the real world, the consequences are far more complex. In the end, what this controversy underscores is the need for accurate journalism. J.K. Rowling, a beacon of light in these murky waters, calls for a reality check, a return to truth in reporting. The misrepresentation of crime statistics, as seen in this instance, is a disservice to society. It distorts our understanding of the world and its complex issues. As we navigate through this convoluted narrative, Rowling's stance serves as a reminder to uphold the integrity of journalism. As we bid adieu, remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. And remember, in the words of Dumbledore, it is our choices that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities.